job. You got a bait of mine. We'll be thinking about it. We've got to maintain our concentration. We've got to keep a little bit out there on the ground. I've always been taught through my football career. When I first became interested in taking on the, the challenge of coaching, I was prepared to listen and learn. And there's one thing, fellas, that I've been taught, taught that I always stick with, that I maintain. The talk is cheap. It doesn't matter who you are, how good you are, whatever you are. You can always sit back and make predictions and say, this will happen, that will happen, whatever. What you've got to remember is probably 90% of those blokes out there that have made predictions this week and gone for Smith and said they're going to do this and they're going to do that, they've got no worries at all because they don't have to answer to anyone. No one comes back at them because they turn around and they put another lot of rubbish in the paper the next week when they're wrong, <laughs> and they cover their way by, by doing that. What we've got to remember, fellas, we have got a commitment. You've made it to one another. You've made it to the club. So therefore, you've got to answer to someone. And that's us. We can't just push it aside. We can't wipe it off. Come along and you've said to me at the start of the season, we're here to win a grand final and nothing else. We'll do the hard work, we'll do what it's going to take as long as we get there and we're given a chance. Well, you've done that and you're here. What do we do now? We get on it and take the last. There's no way now we're going to throw it away, fellas. I don't care what people say, how good Smith and think they are. We have got the chance to go out there and achieve the Albany football. If we want to, if we're prepared to go out there and give our best, give our all, and make sure that we are successful, it's there for the taking. But it's not just a matter of saying that. You've got to want to do it inside. You've got to want to go out there and do your best. You've got to want to run and push yourself and put your body in at risk to win possession of that ball and then do something with it. I said Thursday night, it's not just a matter of us that we're so lucky that we're playing for the Penguin Football Club today. Look at the people that have fallen around us, fellas, like Daryl Jones, who busted his guts last week for this club and hasn't got the opportunity to go out there and play the winning premiership side. They're the blokes that we've got to do it for, not just for yourself. Brett Schultz played all year with us and I was unfortunate enough to be dropped in today's game. But he's taken it, he's accepted it, and he's still here and he's a part of the club. Come on, what have we got to do here? There's so much, fellas. We owe so much to so many people just to sit, bit, sit back and let this slide. So therefore, it comes back to that same thing again, the commitment we made at the start of the season. It was your choice to play the game. It was your choice to be a part of the club. So I'm telling you now, nothing Nothing under your best is good enough. Can you understand that? Yeah. yeah. Every time you go for that ball out there on that ground today, you've got to give yourself every opportunity. You've got to set your eyes on the ball and nothing else matters, fellas, except winning possession of it. We've got to do things right. We've got to, we've got to do the simple things. The things that add up. The same things that I say to you all the time. Keep a level head. Let's keep it simple. Let's do the hard work. Go in and get the football. Nothing fancy. Nothing fancy, fellas. Getting the ball is what's going to give us the win us the game out there today. Yeah. If we've got possession of the ball, if we use it wisely, if our players lead the position instead of lead starting in position and leading out of position, make sure you're giving yourself that room to go to that space, knowing the players are going to deliver the ball to you properly. So it comes back to common sense, playing the right side of the ground. When we're out there, the wind was blowing into that pocket on the other side. So we've got to bring it just this side of the centre. Our forwards know they're going to be leading there, so it's up to the boats further down the field to be a wake up. It's no good winning possession out there on that wing and pumping it wide. It's just wasted, fellas. Every opportunity we get out there today, we've got to capitalise on. We've got to capitalise on it. Don't waste those opportunities when they come. A very interesting point was brought up to me through the week. The last time we played Smith and out here, there was trouble going on all around the place, right? 
quite a few bit of a discussion and that type of thing. Every time a scuffle broke out, it was caused when we were going with the wind, when we were going into attack. All right? When we're attacking, when we've got the use of the wind, we get to work hard, but we've got to make sure we get on with the game. Why is it going to run in and grab you around the neck and that type of thing? Just brush them aside and keep going, fellas. That's the main thing. We've got to bloody maintain our concentration. Keep your mind on the job at all times. Don't let them rattle us. We are the ones that are going to dictate the terms to them. Let them know that we are out there to win. Let them know that we're going to show the way. We're going to put our bodies in front and we're going to go in and get the ball. We're going to do anything we possibly can to make sure that we're gaining possession for our side and pushing it forward at all times. Every one of you fellas, either go through your names and say you, 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 you. But you know without me doing that, that what I expect from you today as an individual, what I expect from you today as a team player, show the courage and the heart that you have got. Let it go today. Your ability, I've always said to you, never hold back. Give it your best. Give it all you've got. If you can't go on from there, we've got players that can come on and take your place. I don't want to see anyone save themselves. We take it quarter by quarter. We give it our bottom best shot every time we go out there. All right? Remember what we said, fellas. This is do or die. It's all or nothing. Get behind one another. Help one another out here today. And let's bring the back. Smithton Saints coming onto the ground. Coach Ivan and the Saints machine. Peter Ivanhoff. 